In this lesson, we're going to talk about advanced filters. With advanced filters, we have our filter elements and our filter criteria all set up on top here. And then we're going to basically be able to use these filter criteria to apply them inside of this data set down below. As opposed to the standard way of doing filters where we have our drop down menus and we pick and choose from those checklists. So let's go ahead and see how it works. So we're going to go over here to this data tab and we're going to choose advanced in the sort and filter group. And then from here, you're going to notice that I have two different sections here. I have the list range of what I want to filter and then my criteria range of what I'm going to filter by. So I have all these set standards ready to go. So let's go ahead and explore a few of these. So the first thing is my list range, and that's going to be all my data here. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and select everything there. And you can see it's A7 all the way to G65. And I scroll back up here and you're going to notice that my criteria range can now be applied to what I want to filter by. So what is my criteria? So very simply now, I'm going to get rid of whatever's inside of this and just simply click and drag to a say that I want to have this column of CCY and then just this USD. And then when I click OK, now it's just going to be USD. Very nice. Now, what if I wanted to have USD or euros in this case? So if I hover my mouse over this, you can see I've given you a little hint of what we can do here. If it's below within the same column heading, it's going to be an or. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. I'm going to click on advanced and you can see here my list range is the same A7 through G65. And this time within my criteria range, I'm going to highlight D1 all the way to D3. And this time when I click OK, I'm going to get both Euro and USD. Very nice. I like that. Now let's go ahead and be able to do USD and cash. Because notice here, I put a little note there for you. To the right is an and condition. So it has to be both USD and cash for both of these to show the filter to exist. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. I'll click on advanced. And now for my criteria range, I'll go ahead and get rid of all of that. And I'm going to say my column heading USD and my L1 asset should be cash. So both of these has to exist. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now you're going to see I have USD and cash. So again, both of these are now showing as my criteria. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and we're going to use numbers. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and say the numbers have to be in the market value of over four million. So let's go ahead and do that. And then notice what I have here. Instead of just saying like USD or cash, I now have this greater than symbol. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. I click on advanced. Again, my list range remains. And now for my criteria range, I'm going to very simply just click and drag on the column heading to over four million. And then I click OK. And now it's only the ones that show four million. Beautiful, really nice, very easy to do. All right, let's go ahead and undo that. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear out the filter. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of Control Shift L. So I go back to my original data. And this time I'm going to do a slight variation on that advanced filter of the greater than 4 million. And I'm going to extract out that same data, but I'm going to put it over here to the right hand side. So let's go back over here to advanced. And this time I'm going to say copy to another location. So when I choose copy to another location, my list range, let's go ahead and verify that one more time. I'm going to go A7 all the way down to the end. And then my criteria range is going to be once again G1 through G2. And now here's the difference. I'm going to copy that data of what I'm going to filter out to this cell over here on the right hand side. That's going to be the main difference because earlier what I did, I made it so this data set changed and then that was my output. Here my output is going to show on the right hand side in I7. And I click OK. Only the numbers that are over 4 million have now shown over here instead of changing my original data set like I did earlier. And now for our last exercise, we're going to do another OR situation between these two numbers because so I'd like to see my outliers. I'd like to see my data set demonstrate both greater than 4 million and also less than 50,000. So how do I do that? Well, let's go ahead and go over here to advanced one more time. And then I'm going to say filter the list in place like I did originally. And then my list range, there it is, A7 through G65. And then my criteria range this time is going to be market value above 4 million and then below 50,000. And then I'm not going to do a copy to and I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And now you can see beautifully 
All it is is those outliers, those numbers that are over 4 million and then below 50,000. So you can see really, really powerful and also a lot easier for me and my audience and other constituents to use this because now we can see what our criteria are very quickly, very easily, and very clearly. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.